my name is Zephyr Sal. This is my husband, Rick, and we are healers. My husband is uh, is connected source energy. He merged with the creator. Uh, I get the downloaded information so I can see inside your body as creator is healing you. It's almost like a movie playing. I can see the healing happening. I get the information downloaded to me and I tell you what's being healed as it's happening. Um, and uh, our website is, is uh, www.healteachlove.org. If you want to connect with us later, you can do it through our website. And we team up with Philip Barrow, who is, I'm going to let him give you his information now. <laughs> this is much more expansive than ours. So I'm going to let him speak for himself. Right. You, you've introduced me to Philip Barrow, so I won't say that one. Uh, I've been an healer. I started healing when I was four year old. Uh, I thought everyone could do it and then I realised uh, they can't. I got credited 20 years ago at, uh, at college as uh, I'm a crystal healer, credited healer. I also channel other aspects of me, myself, other lifetimes that I've had for knowledge and, and information, which is ideal. Uh, so some of the knowledge could be completely new. And you might see me try and answer a question but it might take me a minute or two because i'm just trying to get the download of the information so sometimes it just comes and i think oh i've got it now <laughs> so what what will happen is we me and deb's will answer, try and answer the question i'll try and do healing after we've finished if anyone wants to uh have their say then fair enough that's fine right all righty we have davina she's currently having some Sore throat, cold symptoms for the past few days. She would like a quick, quick scan. So Davina. Hello, everyone. You could, there we go. <coughs> Should I wear a mask? <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Did everyone mute themselves so I can, we can see just Davina up there and Davina say something so we can see you? Hello. There we go. My God. I'll send you some healing, by the way, Davina. Well, Deb's scanning it. Scanning it. <coughs> Davina, Father's doing the through your crown chakra. He's going to do this vortex of crystal healing energy. It's going to go into your bloodstream. So it's going to hit every aspect of you through your blood. It's going to hit every organ in your body, in your lungs, your 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 brain, your lungs, your heart. So you may feel a warmth going through your body, starting through your temples, your brain, your face, going down your arms first. And when he starts going through your chest, I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath, okay? Okay. <clears throat> starting now. It's down to your forehead. Now he's past your ears. He's down to your throat. He's down to your shoulders. He's going down both arms. Now he's going to start your chest. If you can take a deep breath. Now blow it out. And another deep breath. He's past your heart chakra. Down to your belly button. Now he's down to your hips, your thighs, your knees, your shin, your ankles. To your toes. This energy is going to stay with you for the next five days. It's just going to be absorbed into your system. This healing goes through every organ in your body and heals you. Thank you. <coughs> you should feel better in just a few hours. Drink a lot of water. You might be okay. <coughs> Thank you so much. I just, uh, Davina, stay on. Yeah, your chakras needed a little tiny balancing is there a lot of fear around where you live obviously it's fear everywhere in the world at the moment and a bit of grounding i think if you concentrate on trying to flow your, your chakras in like a figure of eight and then ground it to ground uh, i was just a bit that's what i was looking at and that's what i was saying but apart from that you look you feel very healthy i wouldn't worry you know. aurora okay are anybody you complete yeah, anyone, anything? Yeah, I've got another one. Aurora, Rose. No, um, no De Deb, has anyone got any message oh, for Davina? Anything, a short one? Any oh, sorry. 
Nope. All right, excellent. Uh, Aurora Rose has been sick for the past week and could use a scan and healing. Hello. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've had a lot of uh, sinus and upper respiratory issues, um, a lot of weakness and everything, and it's been really hard to breathe. And um, I had, had to get COVID tested because of my job, and it's negative, but it's still not going away. Uh, how did they test you? Uh, the normal nasal test. Well, Deb's the and I'll, uh, I'll give you some healing. I'll, just in case anything was in the uh, nasal test, I'll try and shift it as well. Uh, it took like, looked like it took a lot out of here. Laura, how, how's your uh, connection been? Or uh, <laughs> excuse me. Um, I've been doing a little bit better with it because um, I've been really trying to work on reconnecting to help uh, the 3D stuff that I've been dealing with go through better. William, leave the cat alone. William, leave the cat alone, please. Sorry. <laughs> um, I've actively been trying to work on a whole lot more. Sorry, my son's being a handful this morning. Okay, um, I'm not getting I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting a, a message, nothing for you right now. Um I what are you getting, Phil? Uh I'm always suspicious about any testing to do with COVID. Uh so I've pulled in I've pulled out any low vibrations in case uh, we added anything that we, we weren't suspect to. And uh, there was a bit of low vibration. I'm not sure what that was. So that could be why you weren't picking it up because of that. Uh, but I've got a little new trick to create like a vortex of the person's head. It pulls everything out. Uh, I've also got a bubble in space that I can channel new different energies. So I've used both on you and that's why it took a bit out of me. Okay. Yeah, I know I've had to get the recon or reconnect with my ex-husband to try to get some legal stuff taken care of to uh, uh, get myself out of this situation so I don't know if that may be where you're picking up on that low vibe but um, it will be yeah, yeah. Thank um, <clears throat> the COVID test um, Aurora they, um, if you can if you can avoid them or else do a spit test instead of the nasal Okay. The nasal test, the, the nasal tests have, um, um, <laughs> it's got the, the <laughs> nanobots in it. Um, I was just recently told about a place uh, close by that does a finger prick and can do a quick uh, blood test. <laughs> So I may try that route because I haven't heard of anything around here that is doing the um, saliva swab. No, no, no. You might need to get outside and ground a little bit more too. It's not a swab. You have to actually no, spit into a tube or no, something. My no, son had it done because he no, didn't. He wouldn't no, do the nose. No. Oh, gotcha. Hi. Um, the weather's only just recently started getting nice around here to start getting outside a lot more. So I, I've been working on that, David. Yeah, that's yeah. a challenge for yourself. So it's just, it's just the ground more because you're going, going through some stress right now. Anyway. Yeah, I recently started uh, taking my son swimming, so I've been getting out in water a lot more. 
so that's been helping. Have you been hugging the tree like I mentioned last time? Um, I have it, but I've been going out and sitting near them because we have a little woodsy type area behind the warehouse I work at. So I've been sitting amongst them. How did you, how did you feel after the healing, by the way? Did you feel anything? Hi. Um, <coughs> I feel like I have to cough a whole lot more. Like I'm having a bit of a harder time breathing. Do you feel like worn down in general? I do. Do you want to call in your higher self for a quick sec? Do you, do, you medi- oh. do, you me- do you meditate a lot? Do you meditate? Try bringing in sun energy into you. Actually channel it in, into, into your throat. With intentions, can you just open up your chakras for a quick sec? Sorry, I'm trying, but my son's being very distracting. Yeah, just with intentions, <laughs> open up your chakras. There's like waves of energy coming over top of you. I just started feeling pretty dizzy. Oh, hi. Stop, they need to see. Yeah, you're just charging up your energy centers. It sounds. Yeah, yeah. So you're good. So you, if you want, you can choose to close your chakras, keep them open, or whatever you want. But it's, that should help with just the general fatigue and overall healing that everybody's doing for you right now. Thank you. I appreciate it. <coughs> yeah. I do. I do think the uh, cold and coffee stress related from. Uh, your ex-husband being on the scene. You've just got to try and uh, take the negativity out because it's manifesting into uh, illness. Okay. So, so, uh, and I tea tree oil, do you, I don't know if you use that, but like it just came through to do some tea tree oil. Honestly, I don't even use tea tree oil, but it's, it's coming through. <laughs> I have some, so I can work with it. Do you ever have, do you, does your head get burning? I'm sorry, what? Does your head go on fire burning a lot? Um, it has, off and on. Yeah, but this is the stress. The stress is here, and it's got to go somewhere. And it, it anything that you have, say a cold, it makes it worse. So somehow you've got to gr- take this out and ground it out. Tree's a good one. Uh, channeling the sun energy. And just try and handle your, us- uh, your ex-husband better. I know it's going to be difficult, so it doesn't give you stress. He recently agreed to sign off on the car so I can sell it to cover these debts. So once that is done, then I will be done with him completely. That's good. Yeah. And you'll feel a lot better about your financials. So that's good. I've been working on that grounding technique uh, that you taught me, David, with the tree roots and the tree branches, and that's definitely been helping. Yeah, I think all good advice, you know, like the sun, like Phil's saying, you got your, your chakras just got reboosted, and then uh, you got healing energies in, and then um, uh, your, your tea tree oil, I guess it's, it's going to help you out, and and the vitamin D, like Phil's saying there, just in the grounding, okay. you should be in good shape. Awesome, thank you. I really appreciate it, everybody. If I'd like, I'd like to put a little comment into you, Aurora. Yeah. Um, I know you have so much free time right now as a single mom, but the halo of Atlantis, um, it feels like it takes so long to do, but uh, when I take the time to do it regularly, it has made a world difference of protection. uh, uh, But it's also, it's not even just protection from other things, it's, I feel like it's helping uh, what's the word? Uh, stamina and everything. I don't know how to put all the words together, but maybe sometime when you're at night, when you're laying in bed and you're feeling, uh, it's not even a meditation, but just when you're laying in bed, just maybe try doing the halo of Atlantis and see if that maybe helps. 
because okay. it really has made a difference for me. And it's not even just for protection, it's just help me. Maybe it'll help you. Okay, yeah, Wendy suggested it as well, and I attempted the other night and then got pulled out of it from my son needing something, so I haven't had a chance to go back and do it yet. Yeah, well, I use it on almost every day. Uh, I really love it. It, it, it is good for it's healing as well. It, it's not just grounding, it's an healing as well. Okay. Thank you for that. But for those who don't know what the halo of a Atlantis is, we'll do that today. But we'll do it in the end. Yes. It's a great tool. Thank you so much, Bill, for that. Anything else? Bad boy, Eels. Bad boy, Eels. Are we complete? Yeah. Okay. All right, Diane would like healing. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, I've hi, been Diane. Having, hi, hi there. I've been having a quite severe shoulder pain since about the beginning of the year. Um, I had it diagnosed as a frozen shoulder, and I was advised that it would take about 18 months to heal, and it would probably get worse before it got better. Um, and I was offered steroid uh, cortisone injections, which I didn't um, take. So I was just wondering if I could have some healing for my left shoulder. Yeah, is there anything happened in your life during the time that's been stressful at all? Um, or has it just come up? Um, I, th I was I tested positive for COVID um, uh, at the beginning of March, myself, my husband and my son. So that was a wee bit uh, stressful for us in the house. Um, but apart from that, and we're all fine now, um, but apart from that, I, there isn't really anything. But yeah, the, the positive test is, I've just seen an article by the American Health Authorities, CDW, 1,500 positive tests, and all, seven universities studied them. Not one was COVID, not one. Yeah. They, were, they all were uh, influenza one and two. And that's yeah, sh that's exactly how we, yeah, that's exactly how we felt. We, we both had, myself and my husband, had maybe a couple of days of sort of flu symptoms and then just gradually got better and my son had very, very little. Um, to be honest, I think the stress was more, my daughter lives with us as well and she tested negative. So I think that the stress was all the information you get about, you know, mm. separate and, you know, not touching anything and keeping everything wiped down. And I think that was more stressful than the actual symptoms that we had. As I say, it was just like a heavy cold or a, a sort of slight flu symptoms that we had. Because sometimes it goes into the head and it's so, it's got, and it, your shoulder could be that. It could yeah. simply be the stress of all the information coming around. But again, it might not be, so I'll, I can do some healing. Uh, is, what, what is, it's just a, an ache in your shoulder. It's really painful. Um, I, I, I don't have a lot of movement in my arm. Um, if, I, if I try to move my arm away from my body or across my body, it's a really severe pain. It sort of stops me in my tracks and I have to just wait until it kind of dies down a bit. Um, and it, it wakes me up while I'm asleep. Um, apart from that, it's just a sort of ache, a sort of ache after I've had a, you know, you know how you would maybe um, automatically reach for something or if I do something like that, the sharp pain comes and then after that I'm left with a sort of spasm type mm. uh, effect for maybe 10, 15 minutes and then it settles back down again. But it is kind of constant, it's, it's there all the time. Have you ever... Father says it's bursitis. Have you ever had a serious fall when you were younger? Um, I actually fractured my right shoulder when I was younger, but not my left. Um, I fractured that in a, a, car, a car accident when I was younger, but not my left. That's, that's what I was... Look, in, look, hmm? look on her spine. Look on her spine. She's got an attachment. Well, I, I was advised that when you... I've just been advised. When you had this fall, now it depends how spiritual you are. When you have a fall, you can damage the aura field and some it can get in, yeah? Okay. And it can lie dormant, and it can be on one shoulder, travel to the other to feed off negativity, and it lives there. Now, some people might not get that, it's okay, it's fine. 
but that, I was picking up this fall, and it was when you were, yeah, definitely a child, but it's just come out because of the fear and the negativity. It's like woken it up, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll try and remove that, and uh, the, the attachment might be separate, I'll be quite separate. Uh, do you want to look yeah. at this attachment, and I'll look at the shoulder? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a lot, so... It might even got in. It might even got in when you broke the aura field as well. I just relax. Tell me what you what you feel. Or anything. She has two attachments. She has two lost souls. You may feel some heat or some vibration on your spine. One's named Jeffrey, one's named Alicia. Alicia's in the middle of your spine. They're both affecting your shoulder. One may have some back spasms and some back pain too. Okay, one's gone. Herself is also staying to connect her more and uh, just call some healing from her. Okay, the other one's gone. Your whole spine's being lit up now to be repaired in the nerve endings. This is when you're going to feel this healing energy. Yeah. Also getting a message that if you, <clears throat> if you took in some, um, just some, like, not just go full bore with it, but the some yoga that does a lot of like stretching with the back and everything like that. It's going to help you out a lot. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And your back is complete. I don't know if you felt the energies and yes. the heat, the heat. Yes. There's a lot of water. Uh, what you were attracted to it. Yeah, oh, what, sorry. I, what, what I picked up, I know you were saving, doing the soul saving. Uh, you had some sort of a uh, little parasite spiritual you know spirit have you ever heard of these I don't that, that, know. like the green mile yeah like that and it was a little snapping in thing i burnt i tugged it off i know it sounds wrong and everything a lot you could, that aura field protects us from without mm -hmm. the aura field and when you had the ball it broke it was dormant and i'm not sure why the connection with the lost souls in that I'm not quite sure if the lost, if the souls were attracted to it to try and help you. I'm not sure about that, but uh, that has definitely gone. I haven't seen that. Version, it seemed like, seem like they're trying to help. Mm. No, that was great. Thank mm. you. I really appreciate that, everyone. Thanks very much. You you might have a fever for five or ten minutes the next okay. day or two. It's it's just it's still healing. The healing's still going. So some of these need burning out. That's all. That's great. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank thanks. You. Denise wants a quick scan for any blockages or anything affecting her energy body. Do you want some healing as well? <laughs> Whatever you got. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. <laughs> she has an attachment. Of what? You have an attachment. Oh, crap. <laughs> you probably pick him up for this healing thing, so then <laughs> Deb can send you. <laughs> Maybe. <gasps> it's on the back of your neck. Do you have more than one? Yes, yeah, she has more than one. She has one on her rib. She has two, so you have two. You have one on the back of your neck and one on your rib. Hmm. Two men, two males. Henry and George, spelled Jorge. Yeah, J O R G E. Jorge. Both older. Never been there long. Angel Michael. Okay, 
Henry is removed himself from your neck. We've gone with Archangel Michael. Now we have George, Jorge. Jesus that's taking him to the light, our home. He has detached himself and is going home. All right, now I'm going to do a healing. Uh, you, you look, you're fine. More, you, you could do more spiritual work. You've got a gift there. You can just open it if you really want to. I, I've actually been doing it, but for some reason, since that last attachment at the beginning of the year, it, I feel like my energy body's been dull. Hmm. It's like normally in my dream state, I can connect really sharply. Like, um, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm like really super connected, but for some reason, <laughs> since like February, <laughs> it's been dull. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. Let me give some different healing. That's it. <laughs> yeah, something to open it up, basically. Uh, anyone wants this? Who thinks so? <laughs> uh, cool. I was just finishing the healing. Sorry, I don't know if you felt it. <laughs> Just repairing, finish all the repair and the healing in your neck and back. Um, your, your input to be psychic, your input to connect is at the back of your head. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah, in your neck. And it was blocked. And it was blocked by something I've never seen before. It's not blocked now. So let us know if it's a change. <laughs> Can but, you describe it? <laughs> well, I've unblocked it. it. I won't, but I'm not sure what, da what if it's damaged at all. So. When you, if you meditate, try and clear the connection. Heal yourself, self-heal yourself there. Because I've never seen any like that. <laughs> that was quite interesting. That was. Okay. Yeah, it makes it, a lot of it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't dark, but it was interesting. <laughs> but it was blocking it. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've just felt like I've had a block because normally I'm really, I'm able to release attachments on other people and myself. So it was like, I, it, it feels like something happened to my energy body and I'm like, it, it's like something stuck. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> just, in the, just send uh, gold cube energy into it. Just blast it out, but I think it's gone anyway. But, but bring gold cube energy to heal it more. Take time okay. to heal that one. Thank you. <laughs> Anyone else got anything on Denise? Hey Phil, um, I actually just did some healing work and the dragons remind, reminded us to um, call on them for healing. Uh, uh, you can ask for them to flame out that area like behind your neck so that that will assist with clearing that additional, um, that additional space. And then don't forget to fill that back in you guys after you are doing your clearing. You want to pull some energy in so replace that. Um, you can use uh, magenta ray to go ahead and pull love in, or you can uh, use the energy of flower petals or something along those lines. That's all I have. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Blessings to you. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. Patricia, you raised your hand. Yes, but can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yes, but it uh, was. I did it wrong. It was not for me. I'm sorry. Hey, so you're you're next anyway, I believe. Uh, you, know. you wanted, your mom would like a healing and you would like to see. My son, about my past life. Past oh, life about, for your son? Yes, and mama would like to have a, just like healing, her, see her chakras, see if she has some attachments or sheep, anything like that. Okay. What's your mom's name? Marisa. She's not speaking English a lot. I will translate it for her. Just relax. Yeah. Patricia, can you say a word so I can we can put you back on the screen? Hello. I can. Yes. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Father's bringing me to your mom's heart and lung area, and he's doing healing in her chest her heart and her lungs right now. She may feel a warmth. Now he's going into her stomach. 
in her intestines, her small and large intestine and healing those. Now I see him healing her liver, her kidneys, her bladder. Now he's healing her colon. Up into her throat. There's no attachment. My turn. Huh? Do you have a bad back? King Mama Corona, my Mama Corona. King and in the back, like yeah, at the top back here. She said she said more towards the the lumbar down there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've sent a healing. I also picked, I was sending a, a lot of energy was going through me. So you needed a lot of energy. So possibly some negative energies around you. And uh, it, I had to burn it out. So I got very, very hot. I don't normally get that hot. Uh, but that's been cleared. You can, well, you won't be able to get that, but there must be a lot of people around that's very negative, giving you negative energies. I've cleared that. Uh, and the back pain, hopefully, I'll quit. How you translate? For she's that? being attacked. Hmm? She's being she's being attacked because she's an an angel. She's an angelic <laughs> being. She is an angel. That's and... why. I, that's why I got very hot because I needed to clear a lot. Um, no, you burn it out very slow in the dragon fire. Did she feel anything then? Oh yeah, she yeah. she felt we can we can sing to energy and I'm not, I'm not too Yeah, she felt a lot. Yeah, it's beautiful. It was precious, very precious. Thank you. That, that makes sense, that Deb. I also had a lot of headache. Yeah, have you got an headache? Headache, headache, headache. Okay. No, oh, so I was speaking speaking English with her. She don't understand. Just a minute. I'm asking her in English. You can think of your Yeah, she has some headache. Yeah, she uh, has, yeah. It transferred over. <laughs> it's great to see you. <laughs> yeah, she's having like a lot of uh, like. We think connections, I don't know if angels or extraterrestrials when she's in another place and they say, go inside and then she fold herself, like fold and fold and then she's in this light place and when she's come back, she's full of analogy and beautiful stuff, you know? It's probably going to well, be Well, now you understand why. Yeah, that, now you understand why she she's able to do that because she is an angel. Oh, she has yes. a name like an angel, or it doesn't matter what the importance she's to know. She's probably going to the angelic world at night. Yeah. It's great. I don't know how Lucinda. 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 Oh, good. Lucinda. Yeah. Oh, no. That's her angel name. That's my her angel. name. My, my angel. angel. I'm good. Thank you. I have one. No, baby. Hi. Okay. And and she needs she to know needs something to else about being an angel or or not. She has a something mission. That's she no, probably she just yeah. keep just, doing her lap. Just said she volunteers to be here to hold, to raise the vibration of the planet. She, she'll do a lot in Astro while she's asleep, that she might not remember. So her work is when she's... Yeah. She's working, she's sleeping. Whee! Right. Yeah. Thank you. And all the other stuff, it's okay with her? Her healthy, everything's good, right? She asked if she's, she can help people. She has some kind of... I, I, I think everyone has gifts. Does she have something she can do to to share this or to help people? She has something like that to do it. 
on her mission or not. It's just keeping her, she's her, yeah. It's clear? Um, yes, it is. She, uh, she, can she connect with her higher self? All, all she has to do is, is a deep breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth, ask to re um, tell her higher self, I'm ready to receive. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's what, how you connect your higher self. And then ask, then once you're connected to your higher self, let your higher self know that to um, give permission to your higher self to show you what what is what is my joy, find my joy. So if it is if it is meant for her to heal, to teach, that's your joy, find my joy. All what right. she's supposed to do on this. So that um, and then have patience because they will show her what her joy is. That's what Rick and I. That's what Rick and I did. I gave permission for my higher self to find my joy. Mm -hmm. So you give permission. Yes. Do you, do you understand what I mean? Yes, you need to. And that's allow. You have to give to permission connect. over. You have to allow them. Yes. You have to allow them to do this for you, because I don't know what's coming ahead. They do. Yeah. So I, they yeah, know. They we, know what our in, joy is. Yeah, we've been meditating right. and working lot of with this stuff you know yeah it's a lot of energy around and yeah yeah what mm -hmm. what she does in what she does in astro is she heals lost souls before they go forward so damaged souls she heals and the headache is a picking up the emotions of the of the lost souls she, she wake, could wake up to an headache oh that's why the other day she had a had that dream mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, now make sense. She have the other day. Oh, explain in that. Dream. Explain that yeah. to her. That's what she's doing. So I will, when she's I will asleep at night thing. in the astral, she's healing lost souls. That's excellent. That's what she's doing. Yeah, well, but well, even I'm, on even even here in this on the planet, she'll be able to do things as well. Yeah, what happens? A lost soul can either be lost or could be damaged because of uh, mm -hmm. dark energies. So I'm the one who. Clear, get gets it out, and uh, your, your mum would be the one who makes it better before it goes forward. So. Um, this thing's being recorded, right? Let, that I can can translate yeah. to her little by little. I will translate. Yeah, okay. yeah. Translate. Yeah, uh, it, it should be recorded. I'm recording it. Not sure about that. <laughs> hey, Patricia. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yes, sweetie. Uh, your higher self is bugging me to clear this with you here. It's just uh, okay. can't ignore it. Um, I just need you to tune in for a quick sec. There's just um, some ancestral past life clearing that you really want to do here. And you can do it just with intention. And it's related to some Persian wars in 1622, uh, like India, Afghanistan. And you had a child and he was prominent in one of these armies. and. As it's a lot of blood, um, even though it was a Persian victory, there's a lot of blood and you just want to clear it out of your ancestry line. So just with intention alone, go ahead and send in forgiveness to all the, your son, the armies, all the lives that were lost to yourself, um, for all the lives that were lost in these Persian wars. And it was 1622, 1623. You could probably look it up later and you'll find it. Um, mm -hmm. the, um, if you look up um, Pakistan, the year 1622, um, you'll see some kind of Persian war going on there. Mm -hmm. um, and then just go ahead and um, so just forgiving the enemies that fought against you guys. Uh, I think they came from Afghanistan and just forgiving them and just clearing that out of your energy field, out of your heart chakra actually, and just sending in forgiveness to them, forgiveness to yourself, cleansing the bloodline, cleansing the lands, just with intention, sending in healing energies to the enemies to all the armies within India and because you were on the India side and I guess there's a Afghanistan counter attack um, <clears throat> over some land so just yeah the, the, the energy you send them is love send them love yeah and that'll clear everything what is what is the name again please um six yeah, love, like your your love. heart energy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Lo love energy. But that's connected to me or just to my... To You're connected. 
you're connected to all your ancestors, to all the past lives, to the, all your other aspects. And mm -hmm. during these wars, it creates these density spots. And it was just, it was within your heart chakra and your higher self is asking me to tune into it. To, um, and to it's just, create it. To, to, just to all create right. it. Yeah, so just, just by you sending love from your heart and forgiveness mm -hmm. to the enemies of Afghanistan and to your, your own armies in India, and just send in this love and energy to clear and forgive and cleanse the timeline just with those intentions and you just release that density and as you're releasing that just going to ask the angels to come over you and send in some golden light to fill in as the density is releasing out of your heart chakra and to fill it in with the golden light of the ascension energies so let me see i just feel this big pressure in my right side like i don't know I just let it go, just fill, fill yourself with love and just release the density, just let it go, let it out. You don't need it in your energy anymore. And it's just complete forgiveness to self, complete forgiveness to the enemy side, complete love from your heart to and healing all of your side as well as the enemy side. You're just sending love to everybody and forgiveness to everybody, including yourself, and just cleansing it. And then you're unifying with more unconditional love frequencies of unity, that there is no two sides. There is only one side, and that is everybody's side. So you you align more with the unity frequency within your heart, and then that density is just clearing out now. So that's good. Yeah. Notice you feel it leaving the soles of your feet. So it's going to leave the soles of your feet. The density is going to leave out of your feet into Gaia. She's Mother Gaia is going to take that away for you. As the angels fill up your heart with love energy and golden light. Okay, your higher self has confirmed that you've cleared it. So. I think she dropped off the call. And I'm looking, I can't find <laughs> not, not only did she clear that past life, but she cleared herself <laughs> right out of the zoo. Well, well I was, because this is on the uh, video, uh, she's basically repaired her soul as well. The fragments come back and it's gone, uh, gone. David, I was going to say you got the wrong year. It was 23 and then you said it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I'm just looking it up here. Um, it's, it looks like it's called the, the Mongol Savid Sabah Sabah Vid War 1622-23. Mm. Says it was fought over important fortresses of uh, Kandahar and Afghanistan between Savid Empire of Persia and the Mughal Empire of India. It resulted in a clear Persian victory. And that's how I saw it too. I saw them they were victorious. Anyway, it's still a lot. Yeah, it's, it's strange you said 22 and me, I yourself said no, it's 23. <laughs> and then you said it was 23 and I went, oh, okay. <laughs> Quite so funny. You know, for, for Patricia. Hey, she's gone now. Reinhardt would like a quick scan for blockages if possible. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, thank you for your beautiful work. Um, more concentrate on the neck. Um, I feel there's something, but I don't know. Uh, healing can be done. I am. Yeah, what you could say is I expect the healing to, to fix it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Positive. You. Okay, I'll start doing some healing. What's strange is that previous one, I was in that war as well. I killed a lot of people. Even for you. I'm not sure if you got that, Patricia, but you cleared it, so good job. You're just on, you're on mute at the moment. You can do it after that. Please, David, we're focusing on Reinhardt right now. It was something I've never seen before. Do you, do you see this at the top of his neck, at, on, on the bottom of his skull? Do you see this half moon thing on his, right here on his head, top of his neck? I've never seen anything like this. Did you wake up to that, Rainer? I feel it. I felt it. That was the reason I asked to look for blockages. I've, I've got it in my neck. Yes. Like a half moon thing at the top of his neck on, the, on his skull. I've never seen anything like it. 
What, what do, you do, do you know what you did actually do astrally? I have no idea. I sleep and wake up and I have no remembrance yeah, of Same sleep. thing as me. I, I don't remember anything when I wake up. I think it's from a... I think it's like a battle. Uh, that was like a... Is it like an instrument you see? Half moon, like a... It's silver. It's silver. Yeah. It, it's the... Uh, it's like a ba but it's battle. Got like a, it's like It's like this... It's got... It's silver. I wish I could draw it. It's, it's like a half moon, and then it it almost looks like it's got a plug. Hmm. Like it sticks down into his neck. Like the breastplate almost. Yeah. It doesn't it's, feel bad, it's, though. It's, don't feel, I've don't, never seen anything like it. It don't feel negative, that's what's, so I don't know why. I'm like, yeah. what is that? I can keep it in my mind. <laughs> it, it hasn't got, it's not, it's not a low vibration. So I'm a bit uh, stuck on that one. I don't know whether we should remove it or not. Like, I'm like sitting here. That's why I've been sitting here staring at it, going, "What? What the hell is it?" Did anybody get I, some? I, just, it like, I mean, it almost looks like it. Like Caesar would wear it along, like here, you know, instead of here. <laughs> what it looked like to me was at that uh, top of a uh, of a blade, uh, the part where you. Got that guards your hand. It looked kind of like a custom sca uh, scabbard at the top, like a design. Yeah. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, it's the weirdest thing. Yeah. Do you, do you know I'm going to say I'm going to say this? I think you're a warrior in Astra, and you've come back with that. I, I think that could be a souvenir or something. <laughs> yeah, that's what. It, uh, yeah, and the colors I saw around it is, um, it's. it's had white in the center where the roundish part is, and then it was a uh, hot pink around it. I didn't have any kind of negative feeling around it at all. Uh -huh. I, I feel like silver, that was baby. a uh, warrior. Look, at, you know, you brought back a, yeah, you know. Uh, it's like a yeah. prize. You brought back a yes, prize. Yes, <laughs> that's the word. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. I will keep it in my mind, and uh, at a given time, it will be uh, clear what it is. I don't know it. I cannot uh, yeah. work with it. It's it. It was very really useful. It's like, not pain from it. No, no. It's it's a stiff neck. Somehow, um, I feel it in my neck, and well, you do feel it there. <laughs> Reinhardt feels everything. If he gets the attachment. He contacts me. He knows it's there, so he's very aware of everything in his body. It's amazing. Um, so, but um, this is this this is a medal of honor that you got. Definitely, okay. it's not. It's not I've never. I'm like, what is? Deb, I, I just if... heard that it was a gift from the dragons. Indeed. Don't know. Um, no idea. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure if you can use it for anything. If it's got powers, because <laughs> I've it, never it seen must that. Be, it must be a reason it is, that it is there, and um, but with all ever with, with everything, if you don't know what's yeah. there, you cannot yeah. use. It, yeah. You know? Bob, Bob says it's it's removable. Bob says it's removable. I mean, it, I mean, you can take it off. You can put it back on. It's removable. It's not anything that's hurting you. No, no, it's it's, it's, okay. it's like a hat. It's, it's like a hat. You can take it off and put it on. Thank you. That's fine. Yeah, it's it's not that I I feel uh, really ill. It's just something which is there. You know that was the reason. Yeah. yeah. That's fine for me. You can go on. Thank you very much. If you ever want to removing, I'll, I'll have it. I don't mind. <laughs> no, no, uh, you would most probably use it for yourself so i, yeah. I will but no, i have picked up you do warrior work so that's the first time i picked that up you've got coming in then, and, uh, and it, it was to do with that okay you must have won <laughs> wayne thank you for your kind words i'm so glad lisa's doing well yeah thank you it's been a wonderful huge improvement and it's made everyone's life more pleasant and enjoyable and functional again. Thank you so much. Um, do you need any healing today? Oh, I'm 100%. Anything? Thank you so much. No, I, 
Uh, wow, nice. strong, enjoying the fight. Good, good, good. All right, let's see. Cats. Hi, Deb. Healing. Okay. Oh, you knew you were right. You're next. <laughs> yeah, I'm following. Okay. So, Cats, you need healing in your legs, and you're doing more astral traveling at the minute. So, you, when you come back, you get intense cramps, pain in the legs, shooting up to your heart. How can you ease your return? It's almost like I land back here. And it, it's like a heart, not a heart attack, but it's like it shoots right up my leg up to my heart. But it's almost like I'm landing back in my body. But in, in the third dimension, my leg doesn't bend, so it, it can't catch up quick enough. But it's really like, oh, guys, can you not be me bringing me back a bit nicer than that? You know? You, you know what I call that? I call that bad parking. <laughs> I, I used to shake a lot when I had a year. funny, Phil. You used to shake, did you? Oh, right. When, okay. when, because I I always went to the other, yeah, I always went somewhere else when I was having healing. I right. got the call that the healing's finished. I used to rush back in my body, and my body used to shake violently. And the healers well, thought, that's what's was, happening. Yeah, the thought something wrong with me. It was just me parking myself in my body. I'm not very good at it. No, <laughs> but I think on other planes that my leg works, so I run and do whatever. So I run back into my body, but it can't adjust quick enough. So it, it literally, honest to God, I wake up with like, oh, you know, really like it wakes me violently awake because it's so painful. How long, I, it, I know, how long does it last the pain? Um, uh, not not for very long. It's quite short, but but it's enough to wake me. It's like you're yeah, back here now. It's almost like I've been hanging back where I was, and I'm ignoring them to return. So they're saying no. We're going to make you come back now. It's your time to be, you know you've been gone too long or whatever. I don't know, but it's like. Um, it's a very it's, it's it's you get cramp in your leg but then this shoots up to my heart and I'm like oh you know that that, that, that kind of feeling it's it is um, also do you remember what you're doing astro astro yeah i do yeah well that might be like a way of you remembering it i think it's because I'd, um I've, I've tried to um ask to i think i feel i leave bookmarks of me yeah. and i shouldn't do that and i need to bring the whole me back but I've, I've even said to them, please bring me back without the pain, but they're just ignoring me, or I'm not parking, or whatever I'm doing wrong, but believe me, I don't know if it's the fact that my leg doesn't work here, but it does there, so I run into my body, uh, and then it goes, it can't react fast enough, because it doesn't have that capability here. I have the same pain when I come back. Do you? Right. And how do you cope with that? But I don't remember, I don't remember anything. I wake up with no remembrance of, I just, oh, I, I have would, a, it literally made me leap out of bed because it's so painful. I can't, I can't ignore it. It's like, say there's a volume control, they start off quiet, 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 and then they go, she's ignoring her, she's liking it too much. <laughs> oh, back. Okay, she's back now, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It kills. You need like a buffer, <laughs> <laughs> a damper, a damping buffer or something. Yeah. Somebody said to put yeah. a, a metaphorical or whatever pillow or something, but no, it's not good. I feel like I'm, I could have a heart attack. It's that intense. Seriously, guys, it's like, what is that about? And, and I, have, I travel a lot, so that's not good for me to have that zoom through my body on a regular basis. Okay, so no thoughts then. I, I'll, can I give you some healing? But I'll try and do I'll try and do one of my specials yeah. oh, <laughs> to try and damp mean? try and damp it down when you come back. Well, a minute ago somebody was giving healing out if, if it wasn't you two guys, but because I, my body went really warm, mm. like it was I like think I'm you healing. <laughs> really, yeah, it's still a residue of it now, but it's not as bad now. But it was like a a mist of it. I know I'm not a or whatever. <laughs> it just suddenly, if one of you guys was giving me lovely healing, but. When I'm healing one person, everyone can, everyone Yeah, can I was it. feeling that. I think that's what it was. It was a delayed came what, what happens that I'm focusing, because I've got the big screen, I'm focusing on one and it jumps over and I close my eyes, I open my eyes, I'm on the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> well, a minute ago, as serious as like, I was, like, in, uh, on fire. I was really brilliant, but I'm all right. Okay. Yeah, I'll... anything special or anything you want to do, that would be, just have a chat with them upstairs and say, be kind to her. I'll, I'll give you a ring. I'm not 100% what's going to happen here, but let's see, about oh. 
okay. the, the pain going up your leg. I'm going to try and stop that. Yeah. Or even heal the leg because the leg needs to be fixed. Anyway, we're working on it. That's a good point. Fix the leg and then you won't have the pain. Exactly. I want to go on a med bed. Who's got a med bed? A med beds are like Atlantis, you know. They copied that. Okay, they? well then I need to go and visit them. Kath, you can ask to go to Ra's healing med bed for us and Ra. I can ask to go where? To Horace and Ra's med bed. And actually, you can just ask the divine to bring you to a med bed. So okay. they will do that for you as well. Yes, I want my crystal. Thank you, Angie. You're welcome. Sorry, I've said we that again, Danny. You each have a crystal chamber. I need to have a crystal chamber. What? That's right. I'll raise a crystal, crystal chamber. It brings us all the way back to we're 25, 25 years old. <laughs> I want that before a med bed. We get our youth back in our house. I've never heard of this. A crystal, what is it? Crystal? So you're breaking up there. A crystal there, chamber. A crystal chamber? Oh, that sounds good to me. Wow. Yeah, you, you can actually manifest that into the okay. spirit world. So then what happens is it, if you can try and design the bed so the crystals are like chakras, and they're all right. connected with like copper wiring round and wherever you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and then uh, uh, manifest balls above it uh, and connect to the sun and the moon to divert the power to the. Wonderful, thank you. I'll have to try that one myself. <laughs> I just <laughs> came. That just came to me. I thought that's a good idea. Sounds amazing. What's that shit with you, like a cartridge? What's wrong with my leg? Um, the, the, I got an infection, well no, I, I broke it and then I got an infection in it and it's fused the uh, thigh and the knee. So you but, need it? Um, yeah. It is a bit, told it's like cartridge. I've been using it? quantum energy codes on it, but it, it's helping a bit. But... What you need to do is separate, spread the leg, put more cartridge in and wind it round, wind it round the area. Somebody said that and I had a car accident in 2014 and they're saying that when you go, your body goes into trauma, it shocks, it stops, it freezes. But I think that my body's continued to stay in that freeze state because he thinks it's protecting it, but it needs to be unfrozen, as it were. You feel anything? It, there's a warmth coming, yeah, but it's quite low grade. But I am feeling the warmth here. Yeah. Low grade. <laughs> I'll try and no, no, but for quite a minute, no, no, but a minute ago it was like I'm on fire. I'm not. I'm feeling that it's a nice warmth now. It's not. I'm, I'm burning up warmth. Yeah, sometimes the the burning up is not what you need. You need a different. It's the energy you need. Yeah, it wasn't meant me. I think you must have been healing somebody, and it came across to me. <clears throat> Right, can I see how that goes overnight, well, next seven days. Okay. okay. Do you need to drink water or any or anything? Yeah. Or rest it? Or... Yeah, drink water. Always drink like... water after water. healing. Okay, Always. thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you. But I will try the crystal. Crystal. Sorry. The bed. What did you say? Not crystal bed, crystal. Chamber. Chamber. I need to write that word down. Sorry. Crystal chamber. Yes, that sounds amazing with the. Crystal balls at the top. That sounds wonderful. Thank you so much, guys. Very much appreciated. Hey, Kath, just uh, just do one thing for ten seconds for you. Sure, thank you. Yeah. Just put your hand over your heart for a sec. Sure. And just feel into your heart energy. Take just just take a breath and expand it all into your energy as you exhale, and then concentrate just below your heart. There's this source light, this divine spark. Concentrate on amplifying that. Take a breath in and expand that into your energy in all directions, out your leg, up your head, and all around your energy. This divine spark, your essence, your essence, your I am. And just accept this I am presence now fully connected with all streams of the clearing any blocks within your energy fields, just bringing in energies for clearing, Bring it in with your intention as in your I am presence right now. Just fully connecting all your energy, removing any blocks so you have full energetic flow all throughout your energy systems. And that's it. 
Yes. I can feel that, David. Thank you. It's like a, it's coursing through my body. Yeah, that's very strong. Thank you, David. I'll disconnect from that for a minute because that was strong. Thank you very much. You're all amazing. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you, David. Okay. Stephanie. Hello. She needs healing for the right shoulder pain. Hi. First of all, I want to thank you all for using your gifts and sharing them. Um, about five Hi. months ago, all of a sudden, my right sh my right arm, I should say, not but kind of my shoulder also, just became very painful. I couldn't lift it. I couldn't, you know, reach backwards and on and on and on. Um, it's gradually gotten better, and but there's still a little bit of pain. But then, also, when you're talking about all this neck, across the top of my shoulders, I feel heat. And right where my neck and my shoulders meet, that area, it feels like there's almost a round circle and there's like really a lot of heat. Sometimes the heat's a little prickly, but not a lot. And then when I go up to where my skull meets my neck, there's just like a lot of tension and heat also. And a couple times in the last month or so, when I was out, it was as if my body attacked me and my head felt like it, like as if my neck couldn't hold my head up. And I kind of lost all my energy and I had to just stop. And actually it like was in a restaurant. I had to go to the car and just like lay in the seat. And then also the third thing that my, for healing would be my kidneys. They're not at a hundred percent because of the immunopressant drugs that I take, immunosuppressant drugs. Thank you. Right, just relax, I'll send you some healing. Uh, what drugs are you having for your kidneys? Uh, well, I had a double lung transplant three month, three years ago. So right. I take immunosuppressants like Tacrolone, that's program. Um, I, I take all kinds of, of products, but that's the main thing. So your kidney function seems to go down because of these drugs. I'm like, okay right now, but I don't want it to get any worse. Okay, I'll just relax. Stephanie, did you get the vaccine? Yes, I did. But this happened before. Everything has happened before that scene, not since. What do you? Uh... I prayed about getting the vaccine. The angels told me it was okay, and I asked that it only go for my highest good. Um, and I had no negativity or even second thoughts about it once the decision was made. Stephanie, are you looking for um, connections to your guide teams? Am I looking for connections to my what? your teams of um, higher councils. I, I, not that I know of. You feel like you're connected pretty well with them? I'm kind of newer to all of this than the rest of you, so I'm just feeling my way and being led, you know, here and there. Um, you have a quick second there? They're just wanting to connect. I'm here. Okay, um, just bring in source light over you. Um, just with intention, just with intention, call your higher self to merge just with intention alone. It's only going to be your higher self, nobody else. And then ask your higher self to create light streams of love from your heart to your oversoul and soul family that is within your soul cluster. It's all your energy, all your aspects, all your, all your aspects. And while you're doing that, just envision sending beams of love and light to all your higher aspects and your and your oversoul, sending love to all your aspects. And now they are sending love back to you and they'll be connected to, with you now greater and assisting you with healing, but also sending you love all the time and really strong guidance. This connection's very strong now, so they just wanted to do that. Thank you. This, uh lung transplant do you know when do you know any information on the lung transplant no um i had one psychic um tell me 
it was a gentleman um, that was riding a motorcycle and uh, he felt he hadn't finished his work, but I don't really know. Well, I, I was I, never I, told whether it was male or female or anything by the doctor because I wrote a letter to the family and they never responded. I, I did pick up a mail and I picked up a, a bit of residue and what's happened because someone's died violently. The old body is shook, if you know what I mean. And the part mm -hmm. that you've had has some uh, trauma. He actually had trauma. So I've just cleared that. I've never seen that before, actually. It's, bit, it's as well that part is not your identity, if you know what I mean, inside. Uh, because mm -hmm. it's, it had its own vibration, which was uh, a trauma vibration from the, the accident. Uh, I didn't know it was an accident, but I've cleared that now. I've, let, uh, I've sent the energy part of that to the light. So that could be what you, the weird sensations on the back. Now, fair enough, it was three years ago, but things like this can be triggered. Anything can trigger it. You might have gone past a motorbike and all of a sudden it's triggered, the energy's triggered. This is how, this is how I, I died violently in that life. Well, I've, I've always been afraid of motorcycles because I had a friend when I was in high school die on one. It wasn't mm. his fault, so I've never been on one. Um, so that was kind of strange. And also right after the surgery, the, the top of my shoulders and the back of my neck were in constant pain. I was great every other aspect of the surgery, except for that. I had, you know, people come and massage me and raking me and everything. And that's where I tend to hold my tension. But now it's a little different. Now it's like there's a heat that goes across, like a warmth. And also I was wondering if you saw anything in my head, my skull and my brain, because I've been hearing about so many brain tumors lately. I've had two really good friends. One's daughter just had one, son died of one. I, I just keep hearing about them over and over. And so, you know, I was, I don't want to go into the hospital or doctors unless I have to because of the COVID and everything. And did you pick anything, Deb? No, um, I'm actually, the scan won't even work. Um, it's, and I, I didn't understand why, which is um, actually why I asked if she got the vaccination. I, I got nothing, absolutely nothing. There's like the block. Okay. Can I, can I give you some more healing? To, sure. To take any vibration, any negative, low vibrations. I've got a trick that I've just been uh, doing recently. So let us know what you can feel. Just relax. De Deb? Yes. He's just doing me a favor. You could do try to scan again. Okay. Just a, just a few seconds. Stephanie, you say something so we see your, your face. Oh, hi, face. Deb. Thank, Thank you very much. Nothing. But Phil, I did feel different. Um, mm -hmm. It felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders and I felt like freer. That's good. So, That's good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Wendy, uh, please assist with healing for my right shoulder. Lots of long hours at work and healing work. So at the computer a lot. Wendy, are you still with us? Oh yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so I do sit at the computer a lot and I kind of tend to like raise my shoulder for a mouse, you know, whenever I'm working with my mouse and because I'm, I usually extend my day right after work, right into healing. So sometimes I'm there for like 12 hours, so. <sighs> okay, you, yeah, you want to eat. You want uh, Deb to scan you as well? Yeah, that would be great. Thank yeah. you so much. Because it, it's it's uh, another another one with bursitis. A lot of times the yeah. healers don't heal themselves; they just heal everyone else. <laughs> yep, that's why. <laughs> that's why I'm like, I'm coming to fail. <laughs> Deb and Rick, they need to help me. <laughs> you should start feeling some warmth in there. Is it? Is it got worse? Yeah, it's moving now. 
Has he got worse recently, I presume, with all the stress? Yeah. Plus, I've been doing some like self-clearing, self-healing too. So, um, letting go of, you know, a lot of past lives in like a big chunk. So I had some residual work that I had to do afterwards, and I did that. And then, um, yeah, now it's just been bugging me, even to like lift my arm. It just kind of, it kind of hurts. There's some um, discs in your back that, that um, he's repairing that going up into your neck and in your shoulder that are affecting it. So there's repair work in your neck and your back that he's doing. You. you may feel some heat or vibration in your, from the middle of your back going up into your neck and then across into your shoulders. Yeah, I feel that warm. <sighs> and the energy of it. Mm, I feel better. Well, I'm get, getting Wendy. It's interesting. It's like a, a video when I close my eyes, this one. Uh, <laughs> you've been clearing, but there's another life to clear. But it's when you when you clear one door, another door opens, doesn't it? And this is this one's yeah. nearly cleared. And I see you as like a knight and you got you actually got your shoulder cut off. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. It's quite, it's quite a gri a graphic actually. Uh, what year? About 1400s, I think. So uh, obviously you died there. Yeah, yeah, I think so. If I lost my arm, probably. <laughs> it wouldn't have been helpful. <laughs> uh, it was a violent death. So I, I think that just needs clearing, and, and the memories coming into this uh, this realm because you cleared all the other ones. It's next to. You know, you've got to go down next the line. Next in line. Yeah. yeah. It, this one's the next one. Hmm. Okay, I'll, see if I, I'll see if I can clear it, actually, while I'm doing it. Yeah, I give you my permission, for sure. Interesting. It's like I feel the uh, nerves reattaching to my neck as if when the shoulder came off, <laughs> that all the nerves were damaged along the way. And I felt that and retained that in the body. What I see is you were jousting, you won. And then when you won, you turn your back and he cut your arm off. He cheated. That was the resident. Great. <laughs> he cheated. <laughs> wow. <laughs> were you the other guy, Phil? <laughs> Just kidding. Right? It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> David, was that you? <laughs> you better check your Akash. <laughs> you, you would have rubbed that one out. <laughs> right? <laughs> You'd have been like, uh, that wasn't me. <laughs> That's tough. Huh. Thank you. I'll send you some love energy back, mm. freshen you back up. An angelic blessing, re-energizing you, sending love to you and to all that are watching now and later. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for your healing, you guys. I have to say, Wendy, that the color in your face completely changed when he was done and you are more vibrant and beautiful now. <laughs> Oh gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> Yay, source. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? It, it was a good film watching it. But very horrific. <laughs> Violet but, Grace. Well, yeah, I was going to say, what, what, hap what happened to the uh, the backup crew? Didn't I have anybody with, there with me? <laughs> I didn't see that. You were dead then. <laughs> I only saw I your memories. Dead. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. So you know we women. Violet. We are the backup. Right? <laughs> We're right. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we always say, oh, I'll just do it myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> Never that... mind, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> See, and that's part, of, that's part of what we have to work on too, between divine masculine and divine feminine is more supporting each other and balancing each other equally. So yes. that keeps coming into my awareness a lot this last couple months. <laughs> you got this. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just threw my phone. All right, letting Violet Grace go. What a great segue. Thank you. Okay. Let me tell you. Well, uh, do you want me to read all yeah, of this, Violet, so we're all up to speed, honey? 
you know, if that's what you want, it's a good level matter. It's trying to give you some backup history. Well, I've, I've read it anyway. Okay. Some, um, you did read it, Phil? You read it? Yeah, I've read it. Okay. All right. So, Violet, could, if you would speak again so we, uh, my husband can see you and he can scan you. Yeah, sure. No problem. There we go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I'll send some healing for you back. Uh, obviously, what you experience at the moment is very difficult. Uh, yeah. the, the negativity around won't help anyway. So uh, I'll, I'll try and clear that. Uh, I just got to let it go. Violet, you have some attachments. I'm sure I do. That I thought was coming. <laughs> By any chance, was one of them my late mother-in-law mm. well I can tell you the names just give me a moment okay. let me locate right. them mm-hmm. that's all right probably three you have one at the bottom of your spine near your root chakra I have you have here in the middle of your back back pain right so there are any you have one in the middle of your back and you have nope. You have one at, at, uh, at your neck. That makes sense. Right here, at the top of your spine. And the one at your root chakra is a little boy. Well, 12 years old. Young, young boy. The one in the middle of your back is a woman named Rose. The little boy is named Stuart. The woman in your back is named Rose. And then the one at your neck is a woman named Claudia. Rose is the name of my great Not your mother. Uh, no. Uh, my mother was Lori, but the middle of my back, my great grandmother was Rose. So. The one in my lumbar or my lower back, how is it like one that's been there for a while? I'm curious because for 20 years they've been trying to get me to get surgery, and I just keep refusing. All of them have been there for a while. Um, I would say the one, the little boy, has been there for about 10 years. My accident was an OT. The one in the middle of your back? The one in the middle of your back? Seven years? And the one on your neck? Only a couple of years. These are lost souls. They didn't know where to go. Right. So they attached to you. Violet? Do you know any of your aspects of your, you know, previous lives? Have you ever been given any information? Fragments of them, yes. Um, what's, what's that, Sarah? I said fragments of them, yes. Um, yeah. I don't, I haven't really focused on that as much lately. I haven't really been accessing the active records or anything. Um, I mean, you guys know I've been in a pretty low state now for over six months, so. What I've got. I saw this. Uh, you were on, is it, which is the planet of Blue Up? Is it Lyrian? Lyric. Do you, Dave, do you help me on here? L- L- yeah. which, which is the one with the L on it? Libyan? Lyrian? And yeah. you had past, you got residue because you, you were on the planet when it blew up. Oh. So you brought that forward. Okay. So you've had a very difficult life here because you've, you've been carrying a lot of residue from from that life and you've been carrying that for a long time. That actually came up in the fall for me. Hmm? Um, the whole Lyria one, or Lyran one. That one. I, I, I couldn't get quite get the word in. <laughs> but <laughs> what, what was, you actually cuddling a child at the time? I actually saw I it. what, I'm sorry? No. You were, you, were at a, you were cuddling a, your child at the time when the planet blew up. And it didn't blow up like seconds, it was disintegrating. It was quite horrific. So, uh, Could that have anything to do with the fact that I've been told I can't have kids now? It might be that, yeah. It's like you punish yourself. That's all I yourself. ever wanted to be with a mother. That's all I ever wanted to be, at least in mm. this life. So you've been like punishing yourself for that memory. I've done some healing, but you need to do a lot of self healing. I know at least now a direction to start with that helps me feel. I didn't realize though I was blown up, like, or like, you know what I mean, like when everything blew up, like I didn't know that part, I just knew 
I had a lifetime or a timeline from there. Just got to forgive everyone who did it and uh, send them love, which is so difficult. I'll give, you some, I'll give you some more healing. I've been told, of course, give you some more healing. Now I've told you about this, it's like an emotional thing. So just let yeah, it I'm go. To <laughs> yeah, just let it go. Emotional, mm -hmm. but no, I could feel it. it was very emotional. I could feel it flooding um, throughout my body. I, I had the uh, evening see of the underworld white light going through you. Uh, I created a portal above, so you had like a bit of a blessing. Hopefully, that, that'll help yeah. you over the time. Has anyone got any questions? All right, anyone else feel anything? Um, I'm not removing the attachments right now. I feel Help. a lot of war. Yeah, in your back. I, yeah, and I've still got to. I've still got to heal her spine, so I'm still working on that. Stuart has gone to the light with the help of Jesus. So right now I'm doing Rose. So the middle of your back is um, working on that. I still have Claudia. Rose is uh, on with Mother Mary. It literally feels like it's, like I'm having surgery on my back. I don't know how to describe it, but like it literally feels like I'm awake and watching my mm -hmm. spine. Like literally yep. seems like, like an out of body almost. It feels like it feels every once in a while. Because I'm getting painful, a lot of though. It's not painful as like what I deal with every day. Um, my mid back now, I can feel a lot of pressure. It's more on the left side, um, right attached towards my spine. Uh, I would say halfway up. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's where Rose was. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's gone now. Just got one thing for you there, Violet. I don't know if you're cool with this one here. It's um, talking to your higher self. Uh, so just tune in for a quick sec to your energy field. Imagine 10,000 golden sticky roses of clearing all around your energy field right now. Totally clearing. And then connect with intention to your higher self, call your higher self to merge it's with intention. And then call back, you, you had some soul, you fragmented parts of your soul, call back all the fragmented parts of your soul. And what's gonna happen is as the energy is coming back into you, is your soul is fragmented in the past. As it's gonna come back to you, it's going, anything that's density, anything that is not serving your highest, it's just gonna stick to the, to the golden petals around your energy field and they'll dissolve once your fragments are all back just call back all your fragmented souls from trauma from any traumatic events in the past and as well as anything that you've ever done in portal work or energy work where you've been astral traveling if anything is fragmented call that back call back any fragments that any beings are holding on to that are not for your highest good call those back into your energy and it's also getting cleansed and cleared as you're calling it back all the fragmented parts of your energy coming through getting cleansed and cleared coming back in completely cleansed and cleared and aligned into your energy perfect you did great wow I got like this warm and cold left from face at the same time, all through my arms and my legs for that one. Thanks, just quickly, uh, Golden Lake is coming over your energy field here, just uh, any density and stuff like that as well. I mean, it, it got all on the sticky roses, but we're just going to clear it all off into Gaia. I'm getting the heat of that cleanse too, so apparently I'm transmuting that um, because it's a lot of energy that you're clearing out. I I've, I can't describe the sensation, so... Yeah, the heat is just... My whole torso is just on fire right now, so... so I'm I have so to I'm add that I... So, so I'm feeling what you're feeling directly is pretty much what I'm saying. Probably I'm because we've worked before. <laughs> probably because we've worked before, too. So I've got that connection directly to you. So it, that's probably why it's so intense for me right now, too. 
I've got the extreme heat and the emotions running through me as well, Violet, so you're doing good. And more tears. <laughs> so don't be embarrassed to let those go. Just really let them come out. Don't try to stop them because um, what's happening right now is we are all transmuting this heavier, darker, not darker, but the heavier energies. And a lot of it is dense because we as light workers are coming in. We are the light. So any dense energy around us, we're pulling into ourselves. And so as we are uh, letting all of that go, you're going to be feeling like tearful more often. I know this has happened to me a lot. And I, I think the way that we're raised is like, oh, don't cry, be a big girl or be a big boy, you know, that kind of thing. So you hold them in versus letting them go. But really, once you let them go, then what that's allowing uh, to happen for you is for uh, you to then bring your gifts in stronger and for you to bring in more light stronger and for you to also, you know, you can bring in other energies as you're asking or think about. So now that you've done that clearing again, you want to go ahead and pull some um, pull some energy in. So ask your higher self what you need. Maybe it's, you know, maybe it's love, you know, empathy, support, courage. So whatever, listen to your higher self and ask what you need. And and then when you get it, just pour, just imagine pouring it into yourself bucket pools. You know what I mean? And then fill back up and seal. Thank you. It doesn't surprise me that it's you two, though, that are feeling it the most. This is three of us have worked a lot together. Violet, the, the aspect on Lyra is very high vibration. Nine, ten vibration easily. The knowledge is unbelievable. If you can connect to that aspect of yours and make 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 it whole, make, make yourself whole, the knowledge that you'll get from that will be unbelievable. You'll be like a queen. You really will. Very high vibration. Well, at least I know where I need to go. I mean, I know I've been questioning like my role here a lot lately. And Aurora and I had talked about this the other day. I haven't asked specific enough what I'm supposed to be doing. So it's like I keep getting lost in transmission and what direction to go. And so that actually helps a lot. Like, I'll have to go back to my journal and see what I had discovered about that whole time back in the fall. But it's just been really rough lately. <laughs> So that's uh, also your higher self for like uh, this. you're looking to expand right now. You just got a lot of your energy back and you're feeling better from everyone else's healings. But ask for your for chakra upgrade, chakra expansion, um, to receive more light, clearing density out. Just with your higher self can get a complete upgrade right now because your energy is expanded quite a bit. I knew that that was coming, David. Um... I could feel it now for a couple months, but I guess the thing piece and why I didn't get, I was like missing like one step. Does that make sense? Like something had to happen before. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, it's like I've, I've received messages like, you have to be patient, something's coming, you're gonna realize a lot real quick, and then you're gonna be, uh, I guess going on stop pretty much is what I kept understanding. Oh, I'm really tired now. It's a lot to get, get in a lot of knowledge you've just been given a lot of breaks you've been given you you now can connect to a nine tenth dimensional being that is you an aspect of you and the knowledge and the power can be really great uh you just gotta take your time on it thank you guys so much like truly i know it's time for me to really do my thing let's just get it there trust yourself too trust yourself your healing's all done. Your, your back, your spine is all healed. Your attachments are gone. That was not your great grandmother, or your grandmother. That was someone else. Well, she had died 20 some years ago, so I realized that once you talking. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Thank you, guys, all of you. What do you, you want to do? That halo, the Atlantis halo, there, Phil, or what are you thinking? Yeah, I'm doing a, a variation, an upgrade on the normal one. So if we all just. Uh, Close your eyes, <sighs> pretend you're in a best place ever, like a field, and visualize an halo, a white round ring above your head. Now, when you're thinking of this, think of it at frequency 1111, 11, that's 1111, and let the halo close in a, a, a twirl, like an energy twirl. It's becoming like a stargate. So visualize that. If you don't, just do it by intent. Try and look it through your mind's eye. And then, when you're ready, let the healing sea, a white sea, pour over you like a blessing. You might hear the goddesses speak to you. 
Let it go right to the floor and at the floor there's another halo to outlet the healing sea. So just let the sea, let all any negativity from the today or your life just go away. Just let it swim away with this white angelic light sea. And when you're ready, start then pre changing the frequency to the halo to, to 800. And it starts to be coming in the halo again. So it's it's now not a stargate, but an halo. This halo is now clearing anything that's left. It goes two inches down, one inch up, nice and slowly. It might change the color. It's still in attachments or anything like that. It'll change to the red. If you need any emotions, it'll change to yellow. It goes to you. It goes through past your crown chakra, up to your throat chakra and it's giving you the energy, it's spinning your balancing, balancing your chakras, it's giving you uh, healing energy where you need it. If you've got back pain, it'll clear it out, it'll send the pain, and it just clears all this negativity. And it goes up to your root chakra, right down to your root chakra, all the way down to your feet. Now when it's at your feet, channel moon energy in your crown chakra right down to it, and then push everything into the earth so the halo goes straight into the earth and then just give it a few seconds heavy breathing and that's it i should have been a bit slower then so that's the upgrade of the halo well good thanks so yeah thanks phil that was lovely yeah i like the wave thing that's nice yeah, thank you, Phil. Nice, mm -hmm. nice addition to the frequency change. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at you getting all kinds of new tools. <laughs> I'll just give it, I'll just give them away. <laughs> thank you, Phil. Yeah. Love it. Thank you, everybody, it. for coming this month. Um, we'll see you again next month. Same time.